this morning or visiting the Excel site in Ostend on the Belgian coast. This brand new facility specializes in the productions of uncrewed systems in support of the Belgian and Dutch RMCM program. Steven Lewis, good morning. Good morning. You are the CEO of uh, Excel Robotics of Belgium. Thank you so much for welcoming us into your brand new facility here in Ostend. Yeah, very welcome. We're happy to have you here. We're proud to what we can show you today. Uh, so, uh, Steven, can you please first uh, introduce uh, this facility to us? Uh, well, when we won the program in 2019, we engaged to actually uh, invest in a production and service facility near to the North Sea. And so uh, we signed for this uh, ground here in 2020. We started building in 2021 and we took delivery of this uh, brand new factory in 22 and we had the official opening in 22. And then right after that, we started production. And uh, Steven, so most, if not all the drones of the so-called toolboxes for this program are going to be produced uh, here at this facility. And that's correct. Uh, uh, all of the surface drones and underwater drones will be assembled here uh, in our Ostend facility. We are buying the flying drone, the UAV, from our Swedish partner. Um, and not only we will assemble the drones here, but also they will be partly maintained and serviced either here in the facility or in the um, Zeebrugge base of the Belgian Navy. Uh, what makes this facility uh, unique uh, to me uh, after walking through? Uh, there's two things that stand out. Uh, you have a test bassin, a test tank, where you can test some of your systems, and you have direct access uh, to the water, to the sea as well. This is very important, but it's more than that. Eh? We have had the luxury to design this facility to be exactly designed to assembling and maintaining our drones which means we have been able to optimize the flows in the factory to obtain a lean mode of operation. Mm -hmm. uh, we have been able to foresee this factory with the right places, the right heights, the right cranes, the right uh, working pits in order to quickly and most economically assemble all the drones that I've been talking about. And yes, at the end of the process, we need to be able to verify the functionality of the drones in a test bassin and then once the basic functionality of these drones has been established and tested in the test bassin we can go out to the port which is just next to our facility here where we have uh, the port in which we can test our drones and if that works we can go out into the north sea which is the most difficult working environment worldwide which is the north sea and there we can test uh, our drones in the real situation and the fact that we have this all here in Ostend on a couple of square kilometers, all concentrated to our factory, is a, is a fantastic asset. And uh, Stephen, in addition, uh, you are able to uh, train sailors on using your systems, their future systems, here at this facility as well. And that's currently what's uh, going on with the Belgian Navy sailors. Yeah, so the first uh, crews uh, which will crew the uh, the motherships, uh, the RMCM motherships, are currently being trained here in Ostend. So we have training facility specially equipped for them. We attracted trainers uh, with necessary experience. And so the first uh, classrooms of crew for the Dutch and the Belgian Navy are coming through. And they find it uh, uh, good to be able to train here, here in Belgium near to their base, and also we cater for trainers which speak Dutch and French and English. Steven, where are we now standing? We are in the room where the magic will happen of building K-Stars and C-Scans for the many years to come. In terms of uh, production, uh, how many systems can you produce? And, and uh, are you talking in terms of uh, years or months or days? Well, this room is set up with a maximum capacity of making two per day. 
So we are ready for uh, serving more navies worldwide with our K-Star and SeaScan production. And uh, Steven, uh, talking about business, I believe you uh, were just awarded a contract, a NATO contract. Uh, can you tell us more? Now we're very happy and proud that uh, the NATO procurement agency has awarded a contract worth 60 million euro to uh, Excel for the building of uh, the K-Stars uh, uh, over the next couple of years. Uh, to, and these K-Stars are intended for the Belgian and Dutch Navy. So we're looking forward to uh, producing a large amount of K-Stars that will be used worldwide to reduce the amount of mines in the seas. All right, Stephen, thank you very much. And uh, thank you so much again for hosting us and uh, taking us around your brand new facility. It's my pleasure. Anthony Penn, good morning. Good morning. You are the Chief Commercial Officer at Excel. Uh, we are now on the rooftop of the new Ostend facility with an inspector USB as a background. Uh, can you please first tell us how important the RMCM program is for Excel? RMC RMCM was a, a huge su success for us. Uh, and uh, obviously, we consider it to be the, the reference program within mine warfare today. Uh, the Belgian Navy and the Netherlands Navies, through their position as mine warfare experts and the Belgian Navy as the reference Navy for NATO equally, um, it's obviously fantastic to have these navies using our system and for us to be paving the way for how technology can help uh, manage these missions sa safer uh, and faster. Where uh, does Excel uh, stands uh, right now in the, in the program in terms of uh, you know production and, and testing and so on? A lot's happened. I think last time we spoke, we were probably beginning production. So production is well underway. We have uh, extensive testing of the first USV that's coming to completion. The second USV is underway. The drones, uh, they are uh, being produced as well and tested at the moment as well, and all that through the production C2. So we're quite happy with how things have progressed so far. The first delivery will be for the Belgian Navy. Excel will be quite busy for years to come with the RMCM program here in Belgium and for the Netherlands. Uh, but uh, this uh, facility, uh, you expect it to be busy uh, beyond RMCM. So this is obviously a purpose-built factory. The exciting possibility that it gives us is to say we can now mass produce MCM systems for navies. Obviously, the program uh, our MCM for the Belgian and Royal Netherlands Navy is our prime concern at the moment in terms of production. But the capacity here enables us to uh, broaden and increase that capacity for future programs. So with regard to uh, prospection and future markets, the work that we're doing at the moment is to promote, uh, to demonstrate where we're at, and to reassure that these technologies are tested and proven and seaworthy. The facility here in Belgium is as well a fantastic uh, building for showcasing that, because as you, as you can see where we are now, uh, when we're inviting navies to come and see what we're capable of doing, they can see our industrial capability and therefore be reassured of our potential for producing, but equally showcasing and running full demos of the systems uh, because with the position that we have, we have the fortunate possibility to actually be in comfortable conditions and to run a full demonstration of the complete system at work in the water. Very well, Anthony. Thank you very much. Thank you, Xavier. Pleasure. Speak to you soon.